Hey guys, I thought I'd do something slightly different today and I thought I'd give you a tour of my Inktober sketchbook. So I asked on Facebook and Instagram if anybody would find that interesting and more people said yes than no, so here we are. So I say sketchbook but it's actually a notepad that I've been using for Inktober and it's from Flying Tiger which is a high street shop here in the UK and I think in other countries as well. But I particularly liked this one because if you can see here it comes in three different styles of paper. So you've got a lined paper, a brown paper which I love drawing on and also just a plain paper. So it kind of helps sort of shake it up a little bit. And the other thing I liked about this particular notebook was the size and the shape because um, I kind of get used to using the same sizes and shapes that you can get in sketchbooks and it's, it's nice to just use a different thing now and then. So this is not art paper and you know sometimes you've got to, got to just go with it and not worry too much about it. So I didn't give myself any rules at all for Inktober other than the fact that I drew and I showed you all on, <laughs> on Instagram so you guys, uh, you know, you kind of holding me to account and making sure that I did it. Even if you didn't realise that's what you were doing, but thank you. <laughs> so I'm quite pleased that I made it through to the end and I'm quite amazed. There were obviously days when I was like, oh my goodness, I just, I'm not going to get anything out today. Uh, there were a few days when I did quite a few drawings and they were all pants and I hated them and I really thought I wasn't going to make it but in the end I did but this is all you know you've got to make a habit of it you've got to turn up and work that's what it's about and doing something like Inktober really helps you to to train that so the other thing that I was hoping to get out of Inktober was um, well just just kind of playing with different styles and seeing different looks and just letting my creativity just do what it wanted rather than trying to home it into a specific thing. I don't know if that makes any sense to you but at the moment I'm very much in an experimental stage and I'm not really sure where it's going to take me so Inktober was part of that for me. Okay so before I get too deep into this I wanted to show you some of the other things that I used during the month. Um, the main thing I used were these black fine line markers, they're the Unipi ones which I think I've said before, I mean they're pretty much my favourite at the moment. They're a really great ink and really lovely to draw with. And also the brush pens, the Tombi brush pens which, Tom, sorry, Tombow brush pens which I absolutely, I love these. I buy them in packs of quite a few because <laughs> they're just brilliant. I also really love the colour fine line markers as well. I'm really loving fine line, mar fine line markers. So, and you know, if you can get them in colour, the more the better. I even played with a little bit of ink, like proper ink, and uh, even though the paper's not good for that, but hey, who cares? And another thing I did was use these brush pens as well. So the um, Ecoline brush pens which I'm just getting used to. Now felt tip pens. I used some Papermate, Papermate felt tip pens. So these are great fun and really cheap as well. And then I did use some pencils as well. So coloured pencils to colour in some of the illustrations. And in some cases I did do the pencil work first and then ink over the top uh, and some of them I just did the ink straight away. Anyway let's just let's have a look shall we and I'll show you everything that I've done and even some of the fails as well. So most of the pictures won't be in the order in which I did them because sometimes I would dot about from different papers depending on what paper I fancied using. But we are starting with the day one sketch and this was very much within my comfort zone and a pattern that I've been playing around with for a while. I have a sketch in here also from September where I was just sort of, you know, breaking in the, the sketchbook. Next up I worked on some feathers for day two. And these particular feathers, I did draw them out with pencil first, just the outline, and then went in over with markers. I thought for one of my Inktober days I might try and do some calligraphy. 
some illustrated calligraphy but it kind of didn't work out that well because I wasn't really pleased with how my brass calligraphy was working out. So I've got a couple of pages where I was just trying to get it to work or get it to a place that I liked it, which never really happened. And then right at the beginning I was starting to think that maybe I should write down some goals for my Inktober and I had intended that to do that here but in the end I never wrote the goals out. Then we have a couple of leaf doodles before we move on to day six. And this one I actually did with a ballpoint pen. I just wanted to try some geometric patterns and then in the end I put one of my flower designs in there as well just to see how it would look. So around about a year ago I was doing a lot of mixed media faces and some of you might remember because we were all sharing how we were progressing week on week with a link up on my blog Show Your Face. So I did think that maybe one of my Inktober shares could be a face so I did a preliminary sketch just to have a play but in the end I didn't actually use it. And another test sketch that I never used in the end. And then a couple of pages of random doodles and also some lemon designs which I did end up turning into something that I shared on Inktober and you'll see that later. So we've kind of jumped ahead a bit now, we're on day 17 and these were some insect designs. So just some butterflies and beetles and a little bit of playing around with colour as well for these. And I think these were done with felt tip pens. So just some colour swatches and then the next page we're on to day 24 which is a flower design and really I was just playing with pattern for this. It's not one of my favourite pieces but I just wanted to see what it would look like if I had different coloured flowers layered on top of each other and just done it in outline. I think one of the things that I realised quite early on doing a challenge like this sometimes you just have to put stuff out there that you weren't particularly happy with but because of the speed at which you were trying to get things done and you know doing this on top of just your normal work day meant that some of the pieces would be very rough and weren't necessarily finished pieces of artwork that you'd like to share. Okay, so there's more of a story behind this next piece. This was my day 28 share, but actually it has roots in my day 22 share. So if I flip through to day 22, now this black and white line drawing, I almost didn't share it. And then it turned out to be my most popular share on Instagram. I thought people would find it really boring. So that kind of shows you how much I know. So from the black and white version, I thought I'd try a colour version and just see how that looked. So the next sketch is just another test sketch and just playing around with some pens and it didn't make it into the Inktober shares. And that's all of the lined paper section finished so we'll just move into the brown craft paper section. And something completely different from my day three share was some fan art that I did that was inspired by the Harry Potter movies. Back to my comfort zone and some abstract pictures with my day seven share. And for this I add a little bit of gold with some gold leafing pen. So next up is a very quick sketch that I did of a bird from a photograph reference. Drawing from real life is another part of my regular drawing practice but I kind of show more of my stylized work. So this sketch didn't actually make it onto my Instagram feed but it's kind of part of some work I was doing that day. Uh, I was working on some poppy forms, very simple poppy forms in the morning and they kind of evolved into more stylized meadow flowers which I liked so much that I then went on to use on a watercolour background that I had made on some Yupo paper. And you might have seen the video of me drawing those flowers last Sunday. If you missed that, the link is in the cards and in the description below for that video. So those meadow flowers then evolved into this sketch, which I then read it again for my Instagram share for day 26. Now I did this with a brush pen and then coloured it in with coloured pencils. So another thing I was having fun with over at Inktober was doing these little vignettes. So kind of illustrated stories, but they didn't actually have a story behind them. But you guys filled in some stories for me for them, which I thought was really fun. So thanks for that. And this is actually the second one that I did, and the first one, you'll see that a little bit later. So we're now into the plain paper section of the book. You can see here some of the calligraphy I was playing with. And then we have a few of my very stylized looks with bold colours. And these are mostly done with brush pens. And as this is only notebook paper, then, you know, we do get quite a lot of bleed through. So I am just using one illustration on a page. Next two pages had a very autumnal feel to them. And I was just trying out some designs. And then I've also got some colour swatches that I was playing with as well. I often enjoy playing with patterns and textures. So this was one of those plays. And you can kind of see here exactly where that line drawing I showed you earlier came from. So my day 22 share and day 28 share came directly from this one which was my day 10 share. More bold line and colour for my day 11 and day 12 shares and here you can see what those lemon doodles turned into. 
So here's that first little house on the hill story vignette that I did. We saw the second one around about 8 minutes 50 if you want to roll back to have a look at it. I'm still taking story ideas for these so if you've got one please do leave me a comment I would love to hear it. So a couple of pictures this time using ink washes. The leaves didn't make it into the Instagram shares but this one did and I also did a video for it as well so I'll put the link to that in the cards and you'll find it in the description as well. So another autumn inspired make and this time I went for a lacy leaf design and looking at negative and positive space. So for my day 18 share I was playing around with leaf forms and flower forms and this inspired a whole new project which I did video and I'll leave a link to that in the cards and also in the description below. So for day 19 and day 20 I did lots of idea generation around leaf styles and textures. And this is like one of my favourite exercises to do. It's a great way to practice drawing, to try different styles and get lots of different ideas. And if it's something you're interested in then I've got a blog post all about it so you can try it yourself. And I'll leave a link in the cards and also in the description below. So we jump past my day 21 abstract doodle to my day 25 share which was a sycamore seed. So I did keep returning to autumn themes but autumn's all around me here in the UK so it was kind of an easy theme to tap into. Now I have a few pages of things that I started and didn't finish, ideas that just didn't go anywhere or actually there's a couple here of ideas that I want to work up into other projects elsewhere so keep your eye out for those. And then back to some stylized line work. So my day 30 share I'd actually started that on a different day and finished it on day 30 and shared it on day 30. But then I did a few of these lime trees as well and developing this as an idea before doing another lime panel and then returning back to my lime tree idea for my last Inktober share. I hope seeing some of my thought processes in my 2017 Inktober sketchbook tour was interesting or useful to you. Please do like the video if it was. If you have any questions at all then please do just leave me a comment. I'll be back in a couple of days with a new art video, so subscribe if you haven't already. In the meantime, here are some more videos that you might enjoy. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.